Hello everybody and today welcome back. Today we're gonna be working on styling buttons using themes. Okay, so this is a button I have and I actually started using a theme. Um and as you can see if I hover around hover around it, you're gonna see that the style sort of changes. So we're gonna be covering all this in this tutorial. So we're gonna be doing that. So we're just gonna skip to the video right now. Okay, so we're here in our game and as you can see as our game is totally empty so what I just did is that I imported a resource which is the wallphograph 42.otf if you want um, fonts like this um, this is actually a font so if you want fonts like this you can go on the internet and download from there okay so first thing we're going to choose is the user interface okay and here we're going to actually be having a color rect as a child of it and as a child of that we're going to be sorry for and we're going to have a button as a child of it also so for the color rect I'm going to just make this full rect and I'm going to give it a color that I like on this yeah I guess this will be okay then for the button I'm going to move it over to, I'm just going to hit center, just to center it there. And the button is, I'm going to increase the size about that. Okay, so that will be good. And I'm just going to set the font of this button. But, well, there are two ways you can do this. You can do this with either the theme or just normal setting of font. So I'm going to show you how to do with the theme. And note that if you want to style only this button, um you can go over to theme and just hit new theme and create your theme and do whatever you want but if you like for example you want um a particular theme throughout your whole game okay a particular button style throughout your whole game you have to actually have the theme on the root node which is the control node or the root control node of any um of the group of buttons or something like that okay so themes can be applied to everything in your game as long as it's um as long as it's a child of the control node. So what I mean as um what I mean by the child of the control node is everything here that you can see. I mean just type in control. Everything here, um all the pop-ups, um all the buttons, containers, and pretty much everything that has this sort of green um green icon on it, greenish like icon. So anything that has a green icon can be styled with themes. Okay, so we just hit cancel there. And we're gonna go straight into the theme. So we're actually going to be doing this for our control node because um, actually we're just going to give this a text, say um, um, a style button and I didn't spell style right, yeah, style button, okay, style, okay, yeah, I'm a style button, so that's okay. So for the button, I'm actually going to duplicate it so that I'm going to show you guys um, how styling only the um, having a theme and the control node styles all the buttons under it as a child. Of it. Okay. So first thing we're going to go to is um, we're going to hit the control node and go to theme, and we're going to hit new theme. When we click on that, you're going to see um, something like this pop up. And if it doesn't, just go over here to theme, and you just click it to pop up. So this is actually a preview as shown here to show you a preview and this is a preview of um, pretty much everything that can be styled in the control node okay except the containers and all those other stuff and the panel well, I think there's no panel yeah there are no panels here so we can go to edit theme and we're gonna hit, hit cla add class items and over here by default mine is button but yours might be empty so you just click these two dots over here and you can find the um, node you're looking for. Mine is the button, and know that you styling the button actually styles even the check buttons and the rest of them. So, um, as you can see, you added something like a tree here, and we're actually going to be ignoring all these other ones, and we're going to be focusing on the styles. So here, um, when you open the styles up, you're gonna see um a group of stuff here. So this is if the button is disabled, okay. As you can see here, we have disabled button. If the button is disabled, um, if it's unfocused, 
which is on hover um, when the button is normal and when it's press so um, now the first thing we're going to be styling is the normal so we're going to hit new style and by default this is actually the styling um, you can actually check in your real scene and you can see the styling which is somehow grayish has this grayish color and as you can see here bg color is gray that's why so we can actually style this to whatever we want um just change the color i'm gonna give this um sort of an orange color something like this something that suits this part okay so as you can see we just changed the color of the button you can go over to border width and we're gonna give this a border of like five okay five is too much too small like eight okay so eight is okay now we're going, as you can see it gives it a border width um for the left okay for only the left because we said for only the left so if you want this all around you can just go all around and do that okay as you can see it gives us a border around the whole button nice stuff so here when you see border you can actually change the color of the border so we can actually give the border some color so i'm just gonna style my border um actually i like this white color i'm just gonna leave it that way okay so here you can hit blend and if you hit blend you see that it somehow blends the background color with the um with the border color well i don't want that i'll do that for my um for my hover okay so here I'm just gonna add this color because I'm gonna be using this color for my hover also so I'm just gonna keep, click this plus and it's gonna save the color somehow and over here the corner radius um, this is my best one yeah so you can actually give this um, button some roundiness so we're gonna give it a roundiness of like 8 okay now we say 10 so um, we can give the right its own corner radius and we'll give it like a 10 and we give this a 10 also so for the last one um we're going to give it a roundiness of 10 oh yeah so it actually rounds up our button for us which is really nice so um i'm done with the corner radius and for the shadow i'm going to give this a size of like 10 okay so i'm going to if as if you notice it kind of gives the button a shadow you can actually offset this um, to be like a 10 to the top or like a minus 10 um, to the left okay so just give it 10 here and maybe a minus 10 so that it goes up a little bit so this is really nice um, for the shadows and you can actually change the color of the shadows but I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna leave it the way it is content margin and export margin does pretty much the same thing actually i've not actually noticed the difference okay so what it does is if your button if your text in the button is actually reaching the edges here it just increases the space between them for you okay so you can go ahead and try that out this is all for the normal okay well for the hover you can also make a new style box flat and over here you can see um that's why i save this color so that i can just give it if you hover around it now you know that all are um, stuff has been gone okay all the stuff for the red or for the normal has been gone so and we just have this normal button okay so we can actually do everything we just did and maybe change some things like um, um, the border width um, let's say I give this a 7 and a 7 and a 7 and coming to the bottom and give it like a 15 okay so it's uh, the bottom is actually bigger and over here um where is it the shadow nope not the shadow um the corner radius no not the corner radius the border itself the color i'm gonna change this to something that looks like um this uh, maybe reduce the alpha and stuff like that you can do whatever you want and um, blend it so as you can see when i hover around it it actually changes it well this color actually looks disgusting Sorry to um, all of you out there that green is your best color, but to me, I don't really like that. Okay, so I'm going to change this um, bluish, yeah, something like this. Okay, so this is kind of better. And yeah, I'm, I'm good to go.
So we can actually do this for the price and all these things, but for the sake of the length of this video, um, I'm going to leave it here. So I'm going to run this scene now, and so that you guys will see, um, the the game is running now, and if I over around my buttons, they have their styles, which is really nice. Okay, so I'm done with this, and if you want to like use this um anywhere, like in another scene, you can just go ahead. And save it wherever you want and actually load it in the other scene so this should be all for this tutorial if you have any questions leave it together leave it on down in the comment section or go on my discord and um, I'll be happy to help you join my discord server hit me up on Instagram or on Facebook anywhere and I'll be happy to help you thank you and goodbye